Okay, let's make ourselves a helicar. And before we do that, I want to show you all the things you're going to need. We'll need our blue modelling foam. We'll need our core flute, a fine liner, a piece of paper, scissors, a half round rasping file, hot glue gun, and some sandpaper. But also, importantly, I want to show you the hot wire sculpting tool over here, which is going to make cutting through that foam really easy. Now the first thing we really need to do is to get a bit of an idea of the top view of our helicar. Once we've got that, let's transfer that to a piece of paper. We're just going to draw half of it, fold it over, and then cut it. And so now I've got a template which is symmetrical. I'll lay that over the foam and let's trace over that so that we have some guidelines to cut to. And so now we've transferred our top view onto the blue modelling foam and we're going to cut that using the hot wire cutter. It's pretty easy to use, but even better, it's a whole lot of fun. So here's the hot wire sculpting tool. Um, this wire here is going to get really hot and it's going to cut through that foam along that line. Well, that's the plan. And the way I turn it on is with this foot pedal here. And when I don't need it on, I'm going to take my foot off the pedal so it doesn't all smoke up. Here we go. Okay, now we've got our top view done. Is that a helicar yet? No, it's still a rectangle on that side. Let's get a bit of form and shape into it by using the hot wire tool once again. Well, that's a pretty good rough version of what I'm after, but it needs a little bit more fine work now. And I'm gonna use the rasping file and some sandpaper to get that nice and smooth and get just the shape I want. Well, I'm pretty pleased with that so far. It's symmetrical, which is important, and it's looking pretty aerodynamic. Another key design feature is to ensure that you've got somewhere up nice and high so your motor can go with your propeller at the back, and it's got a lot of free area around it so the propeller can actually suck through air and has access to that air. It's not being obstructed. Now, there's only so much you can do in terms of smoothing with a rasping file. It's great for shaping, but to make this look even smoother, we're going to need to get stuck into the sandpaper. So let's give that a shot. Look, the sandpaper works quite well, but you've got to be careful not to sort of gouge at it. You've got to do nice, long, smooth strokes. Now, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, it's now time to put on the wheels and the motor. Let's do the wheels first. Let's use a ruler to mark out where we want the axles to go. Now we're going to cut out just one tube of the core flute. Now it's just a matter of hot gluing these in place. I'm going to put just a little bit of hot glue on the actual core flute, a small amount. That will hold it in place. I'm going to cool it down and then we press that into place. Then simply put in the axle and the wheels and you're just about done. So far so good. Let's put on the motor and propeller. I've got a motor here which are the right kind, and I've already sold it on some tails there into the terminals. That's cables ready to hook up to the power anchor. Here's the propeller, we need to push that onto there. 
Okay, and now we're gonna hot glue the motor onto the base. Now, if we put the hot glue straight onto the foam, it's gonna melt it. We need to put it onto the motor, let it cool down a bit, and then put it on to the foam. Now, of course, hot glue, it's hot, so please be careful. So what exactly are these two tabs for? Well, when we connect our helicar to the power anchor, we need some anchor points. So let me show you how they work. There's the tether cable. And we clip it onto the anchor point along with the conductive cable to the motor. And that's pretty much it. You've made your helicar, it hasn't taken you long. It's time for you to get on and do some testing. Mm -hmm.